That's the sound you hear of sweetgrass basket makers continuing a precious art form. Specifically, it's the basket makers from the Sweetgrass Cultural Arts Festival Association harvesting natural sweetgrass from the ground to use in creating sweetgrass baskets. Our mission out here was to come and to protect, you know, collect and protect the sweetgrass and for the Gullah Geechee Coalition, you know. So thanks to the Corps of Engineers, and you know, for them finding the sweet grass and allowing us to come out and pull, that was a great help to the sweet to the basket makers. Sweet grass usually grows naturally along waterfront property, and basket makers have pledged to keep the art form alive as long as there is raw material. But commercial and residential development in recent years has diminished the supply. To help ensure the art form's survival, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Charleston District began planting sweetgrass in the dunes on beach renourishment projects for dune stabilization and to reduce erosion from the Grand Strand of Myrtle Beach all the way to Dalfusky Island. More than 13,000 plants were planted in tracks along the coast in this effort, and in the future, this grass will be ready to harvest. But then, there was a lucky discovery at the district's St. Stephen Powerhouse, where approximately an acre of natural sweetgrass was found. The grass here was natural and it has been here since the beginning of this project back in the 80s. We just discovered it about seven years ago when we were doing an inspection of the intake canal. We just happened to be coming along in October when it was blooming and we looked up and there was this great big patch of it growing over here. And so we were just really happy that this was a good plant and they were happy to use it. Noting the importance of a cultural resource, the Charleston District held the inaugural Sweetgrass Pulling Day to allow basket makers to pull the natural sweetgrass, which is just step one of the basket making process. The process you have to come out and pull, and when we pull, we put our foot on the root and pull the sweetgrass out. That way, with the roots still being in the ground, it will polish itself every year. But once we pull and once we get back home or to our shops, we would clean the good from the bad. Then we put it out to dry. Once it's dry, then we can store it or we can go ahead and weave with it. While sweetgrass basket makers are continuing a precious art form that dates back hundreds of years, the Charleston District is proud to be able to provide the material necessary and hopes the pulling day will become an annual event for years to come. To learn more about the Charleston District, visit our website or find us on social media.